People, I'm not sure what just took place here. Um, a car pulled up. It was a gray car with a man and a woman. I've seen the woman before. She don't live here. And this is what they did. They came. You see the dog is now gone. You see that, I don't know if you can see that dish right there, but they poured that water out and they had a big silver dog bowl and they poured some fresh water in it from what looked like a vinegar container. The gallon jug of a, uh, it looked like a big, a humongous vinegar container and they poured it into that bowl <clears throat> and they gave it to the dog. And she was talking to the dog like she knew the dog. She was like, sit, sit. And then she um, took the dog off the leash. You can see right there where the water was poured out. She didn't want the dog to have the water that was in that container. And so... <clears throat> He was like telling her to hurry up. And then when she took the dog off the leash, he was like, the dog gonna run away. And uh, I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. I really couldn't because they pulled up in a car together. And they both stood right there at the area. I'm waiting to see if they're going to bring the dog back. But he clearly said that the dog was going to run off. It's To me, it's almost as if somebody tipped them off and let them know that um, code, that code had been called, the city of Dallas had been called. <clears throat> so he took off in his car and she went walk with the dog on the leash. He took off in the car and he went right. And he was driving kind of fast out the parking lot. And she went left with the dog on the leash. And she was walking kind of fast. And so I don't know what's gonna become of the dog now. And I didn't get any footage of them doing all of this because they parked right there in front of the window. <clears throat> and I was working on another video at the time. And they were standing right down there. And you don't have a good view. The only thing you can see is where the water had been poured out. The only thing you can see <clears throat> the Tupperware dish. It's a rectangular tupper Tupperware dish. For some strange reason, she didn't want that dog to have that one. And she poured it out. And she had a big silver regular dog bowl. <clears throat> and she filled it up with some water. And I see that there's a some kind of bag down there, a yellow bag. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> but people, that's what just took place. <clears throat> and I don't know why he was trying to rush her. And it was a last minute decision for her. She was acting like she was in panic mode. Last minute decision for her to, um, <clears throat> disconnect the, uh, the leash from the pole. In the post. I can't even find my words and so messed up based on all these things. But as you can see, they were here. I'm surprised that they did all of this. They laid paper down and taped it to the floor. This section of the floor is new. And <clears throat> they laid all of this down. This is what they did. They went to lunch. They said they're coming back.
can't believe they did this. I know I did. <clears throat> but yeah, this is what they're working on. And they're coming back in an hour to um, fix all of this. But it was nice of them to have done that. <clears throat> and you know why it's done like this? Because, oh look, they even put, put plastic all over the closet door. It was two women and the dude that fixed the toilet, opposed to um, the big rough ass, yeah, the big rough ass man. They put plastic all over the door. And I didn't even have to tell them. Their English is very, very little. I didn't even have to tell them. <clears throat> but they, but they had tape on the door now. Well, but while they were in here working, they closed the door. They closed the door. I had to go nice and empty for them. <clears throat> Now, if it would have just been men, men would not have done all of this. But it was two women. <clears throat> and they took the ceiling fan down. Yeah, they took the ceiling fan down. And that's what you see laying in there. It was the only available space I could tell them to put it. So that was a, that's real cool of them. And that way I don't have uh, dust all over my floor, <clears throat> except for the dust that I might get ready to distract because I was in there. So there's a fan laying on the floor. But that was very, very strange. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I should call <clears throat> back and cancel it. I'm gonna let it stand as it is because they'll probably call me again when they are um, here. Oh shoot. <clears throat> Okay, you see this? Let me go to the other room. I'm going to the other room because this is animal rescue. And I gotta tell them what just happened. That's animal rescue right there, can you see him? I'm gonna talk to him through the window. <clears throat> just get ready to go to the bathroom. That's saying I'm gonna rescue right there. Okay, let me um, put this down. Cause if he gets out to the club, I'm gonna talk to him. Hey! Yeah, some people about five minutes, about five minutes before you showed up. Sorry? About five minutes before you showed up, two people showed up in a gray car and they went over to the area. They poured that water out in that container and the guy drove off in the car and, the, and he went that way and the woman she unhooked the dog and she went walking and she turned left and that yeah she walked away and there was a whole lot of confusion between the two of them because he seemed to be trying to, to rush her and telling her that the dog might get free and get loose and so they drove up together, but he drove off fast that way. She walked off fast and turned that way. And before they left, they had, they brought with them a big silver bowl, a big silver bowl, and they poured that water container out and poured something else into, uh, some kind of liquid into the bowl. It looked like it was in a big vinegar jar, and they poured it into the bowl. And I think that yellow wrapper there is something that they left behind as well. And she just took the dog and she walked off that way and he drove her. 
No, I have no clue as to whether or not the dog belonged to them. I just know she showed up with a big silver dog bow. I don't, why they left the dog there, I don't know. Why they drove up together, but he drove off and went that way and she walked that way, I don't know. But it just seemed to me like somebody must have tipped them off because that animal control was called. I don't know either, but you know, people keep breaking into this unit and people seem to know everything that's going on. So that's what took place. And I was just sitting there thinking, should I call or is she gonna show back up? I really do not know what's going on. The dog is black and white. It's a medium sized dog. It's got black around both eyes. Um, it's got black ears and it had on a, a body harness and the leash was a, uh, like a like a a royal blue. It, it looked like it was made of material, oh, okay. and it was it looked like it was round like a rope. Yeah, yeah it was one of those, and it was uh, like it, in the light blue family. And um, yeah, and the lady that took him, she was a tall black lady. I'm not sure if it was a man or a woman. Could be transgender. Had the hair pulled back. Had on a gray T-shirt, very skinny. And I can't remember what kind of pants, if they were jeans or not. But as I said, she just turned left down a button. Okay, and the dog had been put there. I spotted the dog at like 7.18 in the morning. And I don't know what that yellow container is over there. And this might be the gray car coming down. I wish I weren't in the window. You're welcome. If they show back up and I see the dog back down there, I'm gonna call you guys again. Because that dog was out there for hours. And somebody came along and gave the dog water. All right, thank you for coming. So he said he don't know how it would happen, how somebody would have tipped him off. I said, well, people get tipped off around here a lot. And as I was talking to him out the window, the gray car, it looked like the gray car that had uh, <clears throat> dropped the woman off to, you know, uh, to service the dog. And now, look. And now this guy over here with the white shirt and the tan pants, he's over there talking to Animal Patrol. God only knows what he's telling, probably telling him everything I said was a lie. And there is the old maintenance man, and he now going over. Now the old maintenance man, everybody wants to talk to Animal Control. Everybody is going over there to talk to Animal Control about this uh, situation. But he was looking at me like, you know, <clears throat> how can anybody know? But now, yeah, I know these two. I know these two. I think that they are, they are trustworthy. I don't know. Yeah, two people went over to talk to him. Yeah, the, one of them is the old maintenance man and the other one, he just lives down, down the way. But apparently I'm not the only one who uh, saw the dog chained up there. <clears throat> I told him that, I said they seem to be in an awful hurry. Well, y'all heard the whole conversation. Let me repeat myself now. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's our old uh, maintenance man. walking by. And uh, yeah, everybody came. When they saw maintenance, when they saw maintenance out there, everybody came. I mean, when they saw uh, animal control out there, along came everybody. Because I was standing there talking to the guy, I was like, he, he probably don't believe me. I think like that. I was thinking to myself, he probably don't believe me. Y'all should have seen him. He was gorgeous. Must have been in his late 20s. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, picture a young Mark Harmon, 
but better looking. Really, he had that whole look to him, like a young Mark Harmon. Remember the way Mark Harmon looked in the movie Stealing Home? Picture him looking better than he was gorgeous. And so I said, that's what happened. I said, I told him, it seemed to be in a hurry. Seemed to be in a hurry. And he was telling her something about the dog gonna get loose. And she went walking off with the dog to the left, the car sped off to the right. And uh, I don't know who that was that came back. I said, I said, did you hear me when I said to him? I said, here comes a gray car now. I'm really kind of sorry that I'm in the window now. <laughs> Yeah, so, anyway, now I'm pulling a Sin City on you. This is the way I'm doing my videos from now on. I'm going to be standing in the mirror. So, anyway, people, um, that's the update. And I, I said it in my comment section, and I'm going to say it here in this video. I understand that we have a lot of people who are passionate about a lot of stuff, but my comment section is not one for you to come and cussing in and you know saying that somebody should be handled in a rough fashion for something that they have done because that puts my channel in jeopardy so you know i understand that nobody likes to see animals um be treated poorly i understand that it's interesting though you you tell somebody something about an animal being treated poorly and they got a lot to say on that but you tell some somebody something about a, a person being treated poorly and uh, being in a situation where their hands are tied and you don't get nearly as much compassion. Y'all had a lot of compassion for the dog, but I ain't seen as much compassion for me in my situation. And my situation been going on for quite some time. I'm just saying. But I just thought it was rather interesting that she didn't want that dog to have that water that was in that bowl because that water that was in that container, obviously probably one of those two men that you saw out there probably gave that dog some water and that dog was given that, that water um, probably an hour before that gray car showed up. But um, when I said to him that Somebody probably tipped them off about the dog. Um, he was like, I don't see how. Well, I mean, he was standing right in front of a border up building. Everything that happens at that unit, people, people talk about it and pass it on because the people who are using that unit to do their illegal activity, including leaving the dog there, um, including <laughs> So tired of this thing doing that, including the people leaving the dog there, um, pay close attention to what is happening here. And I told him that they took off with that dog about five minutes before he showed up. So now when the car came and the gray car pulled through, um, I only saw one person and that was the driver. I didn't see a female sitting in that seat. I just don't understand why now look at this. I just don't understand why um, I'm being nosy. But when when he asked me, he said, "Do you know if she, if they were the owner of the dog?" I said, "I don't know. I just know that they showed up with a big silver dog bowl. They showed up with a big silver dog bowl." And you know, most of the people around here are homeless, right? And the shelter that I came from, the shelter that I came from called The Bridge, they have a section where if you go homeless with your dog, they have like a, 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 a shelter for the dogs as well. And so you have to take your dog out every day and walk your dog um, day and night is what you have to do. But... Um, they provide shelter for your your pet if you go homeless with your pet. So I was thinking to myself, came with a dog bowl? And somebody drove you? And I saw her around here um, like three days ago when I was smelling all the fumes coming up from downstairs and I thought to myself, hmm. But I didn't see her with a dog. I ain't never seen that dog before. 
And so just now when he asked if, if, uh, if there was a chance that they could um, be the owners of the dog, I thought, I thought to, I don't know what's going on with my phone. I thought to myself, you don't want the dog to drink this, but you got something in another container that you do want the dog to drink. And she was talking to the dog like she knew the dog, like she was like, sit, sit, sit. <clears throat> and I thought to myself, I know you didn't just go buy a boat. A, a, a giant. I do not know why it's doing it. I'm thinking to myself, I know you didn't just go buy a giant dog boat. So I don't know what's going on here. I really do not know what's going on. I just thought it was odd that she got a ride from some guy who was terribly concerned and he was like, hurry up and so on and so forth. And I turned the fan off to see if I could hear more of what they were saying. I don't know what was going on, but I know that that dog was out there at 718 this morning. I know that for a fact. And uh, <clears throat> they took that dog away about 10, about 10 minutes about 15, 15 minutes ago, I guess, they took that dog away. Really? And uh, there's something else I want to say in this video, but I keep being distracted by this notification. I don't know what's going on with the notification. And I keep turning my notifications off. And, uh, hit on. Oh comment section, Jesus. So anyway, I'm trying to figure out what to hit while I'm getting all these notifications. So anyway, people, I'm going to go because I'm going to do my biking video and I have to go to the bathroom. Anyway, I don't know what they're commenting to, but a whole bunch of comments are coming through. And I don't know why people don't listen to me when I talk. Y'all yeah, really think I would bring you a video of a person or a, an animal in, in danger and not contact the people that I need to contact? So anyway, let me see. This is moving slow. So anyway, I just think it's rather odd. I just think it's rather odd that um, I I thought the lady was going to get back into the car with with the dude that bought. Her. They were on two totally different sides. Really, they were. She was like, I, I tell them, I said, I don't know if it was male or one, with trans, I think it was a transgender person. Because she was wearing the same thing um, when I saw her like three days ago. And, uh, or, or he. And I got a good look at the face. A real good look at the face. And I really just couldn't figure it out. And we got a lot of transgenders hanging out here um, at this particular unit as well. And they'd be strutting their stuff in some super tight fitting clothes and looking at people like, are you interested? And I'm like, oh, Lord, you know, Breezeway, Charlie's uh, ex that he was always uh, hanging out with down there seems to be transgender as well. So, you know, it's sad when you can't figure out. You're trying to report something and you can't figure out um, who's who what gender a person is based on um, based on everything. And every time I start thinking about it, I want to do a video. I, you know, I, I saw something just recently. Um, I was looking at something and it was, was dealing with um, transgender females and all the stuff that they have to do following surgery and uh, it was dealing with a woman who, um, a transgender woman who had a whole, a boatload of regrets for having done it. And uh, her surgery wasn't that long ago, sad. 
sad, sad, sad. But yeah. Anyway. So in closing, I, I was trying to figure out, you know, um, what the urgency was about. What the urgency was about. But I know, I know for a fact somebody had to have tipped them off that um, animal rescue was coming. Somebody had to have tipped them off. Um, it could have been um, not not necessarily tip them off to the fact that I called, but I'm probably not based on what we saw out there. Now, who is this down the street? But based on what we saw out there, I see this vehicle parked down here. Based on what we saw out here and how people rushed up to um, animal animal control. I strongly doubt that I was the only one that placed the call. I strongly doubt that I was the only one that placed the call. That it was just so stupid because anybody who came through, that's so I kept seeing cars come through and they was just looking and looking. So anybody who was coming through, they knew that there was a dog in there. And people don't take kindly to, you know, that poor dog. People don't take kindly to it, to uh, a dog being tied. Whether the dog was tied or not, if they could have seen the dog on the patio, out here in the heat, mouth wide open because it's hot and thirsty, um, they, they consider that animal cruelty. It's too hot for people to just be standing out. And to just have a dog out? Oh, but you know what gave it away was the fact that it was a boarded up, boarded up unit. What gave it away was the fact that it was a boarded up unit, you know. Yeah, there's a dog tied up and the unit is boarded up. That just screamed out. That just screamed out suspicious. Let me go because this video this video has been 27 minutes and you know when I was talking to the guy I forgot you guys were on the phone. And then after I finished the video I started telling you everything that you clearly heard me say. Now I see crime delivery and uh, I don't see anything on my must not be for me. I, I tend to think I tend to think that all deliveries from Amazon are for me. He's backed up to this spot. And, uh, what unit are you looking for? His window's closed. He backed up to this spot, but I don't see that anybody purchased anything from my list. But I'm gonna ask him when he comes out. It, he might be looking for a unit right here. I'm pretty sure it ain't mine. Pretty sure it ain't mine. So anyway, people, there you have your beautiful view of the pine truck. Yeah, it don't look like it's anything for me. I'll see you guys later.